Hello. Um, I was taking this uh, stock photography shoot uh, for my website uh, pixelmania.in and uh, I was correcting through the images uh, making it pure white. Uh, actually it is uh, impossible to make uh, pure white uh, photographs uh, I was in the backgrounds. If you have tried it before then uh, I'm sure that you must be pretty well uh, knowing about this. <coughs> but saying that uh, it pays to uh, take a decent photograph uh, with a relatively white uh, background and uh, that actually helps uh, when we go and make it completely white so uh, it's the old school method uh, we have to uh, create a new layer which is completely white now if you see uh, we can leave the photograph like this but again without the shadows uh, these photographs look pretty fake uh, it might be good uh, for people who are going to cut this out and use in designs but then if somebody is going to use this photograph uh, on any of the print design just like that <coughs> they want to use then without the shadows it's pretty difficult um, it's very bad uh, looking so I've already used my pen tool over here to cut the uh, <coughs> three spoons three wooden spoons into three different layers so here they are and now I've created a white layer in between them now to create the shadows again we're gonna use the same layer from which we cut all these three spoons I'm gonna add a layer mask to it and then fill it with black color all backspaces to fill uh, the color now if you uh, hide the white layer you can see shadows over here here and here so I'm just gonna bring them up so I take my brush tool bump the op opacity to 20% and let's get started to paint yep so uh, the color is black let's change it to white and then we'll start painting a little bit bringing in the shadows over here good and then a little bit of shadow over here let's just check where they are so that I don't keep painting the other places and bring them bring the rest of the page yeah so that's it that solves issue uh, this looks a little dark so I'm just gonna press by pressing X I'm just going to uh, shift between the foreground and background color and right now I need to erase a little bit so I'm just gonna paint a little bit of black here that's it a pinch of this and a pinch of that and you have an image which has a good background color so there you go now you can select all these layers you can move wherever you want and then you find the mistake here so it's a, a good thing that I did that I'm just gonna move it a little up again select my layer mask again to by pressing B I'm gonna select my brush tool and then I'll change to the different color bump up the opacity to 80 probably 90 no 80 is fine I'm gonna erase this yep erase done it's gone <coughs> excuse me so let me bring them back into the picture yep that's about it so there you go uh, now you got a perfectly white background I can select anywhere you can see it's perfectly white the edges are white it's just great now I think this photo is ready to be sold on the website but I'm giving it for free uh, please do uh, go check out my website uh, pixelmania.in pixelmania.in where I'm gonna uh, give these photographs for free you have a lot of categories over here from which you can choose 
and uh, you can read more about such tutorials on my blog which is pixamania-blog.tumblr.com um, soon I'll get a domain f name for this and uh, you can start checking out this uh, these tutorials on my blog itself I have some cool things this is a video from my last shoot uh, on how to shoot a banana stock photography uh, thanks for watching hope this helped uh, in making good stock photographs uh, until next time this is Mr. JCRB signing off thank you